Freeborn quick hands away. Fletcher. McKay storms through the middle. Put them on. Paid the prize. Holding the ball. Johnson got him. See the ice looking board there. He's got a couple of blokes on. But they can't free themselves up. He'd want to come in. Nearly 11 and a half minutes in the first term. Still no goals. Carlton by two points. Essen building something now. Only one Got set of players inside the centre of the ground at the Carlton end. That's McKernan up against Fletcher. In the meantime, Essen are now trying to beat the flood. Ramanaskis from 50. Goes for goal. He gives it a good kick and he has kicked the first of the night. That's how you beat the flood. Goal to the Bombers. This year, but one thing they've tried to do tonight... And we see the scrag there by Gallagher. They've put Beaumont, McKay, Christou and Manton all inside their defensive six, trying to give them stability. Ramanaskis, chance of his second, closing, kicks the goal. Causing a few problems, Adam Ramanaskis at the moment. Just on the right of your screen, just one pair of bodies out of that shot. Salmon brilliantly, Carousella likewise, Johnson, he's got it. Oh, wonderful by Salmon. Classical. Lappin had it charged down by Fletcher. McKernan, Mansfield's hands were quick, too quick. Ramanowskis grabs it inside his own defensive 50. Hooks it back towards the middle. Merrington almost. Clicks the hand pass out. Intercepted by Mercedes. Barnard over the top. This is Harvey. Could have been taken high. He'll get the free kick. Professional free, free kick there. And... Just exuded class there. Well done. Goes over the top. Barna. That's not 15. That is not. The lead currently at 15 points. This to make it 21. Paul Barna. It's a goal. Freeborn. Handball's on. Now Carlton start to build something up towards the half forward flank position. The young player coming out there was Davies. Bounced off his chest. Jason Johnson will have to be the leader in the midfield now for the Bombers. Barnard kicks out wide and some of the Essendon players who have just coasted along underneath the big guns will have to put their hand up tonight. Here's one of them, Jacobs, and he does. Takes the mark. One feels lifted in the last five or ten minutes. Apparently Sam's the only one who can fix him. I think he has. <laughs> The kick from Jacobs is just what the doctor ordered for Essendon at last, and he's kicked the goal, and the Bombers set themselves up. James Hurd, no doubt watching tonight in Perth. And it's about 52 metres out. Houghton liked his game, clean possession. Been looking for Murphy. McGrath did well. Put it to Jacobs. Rioli chips inside the 50, and Hill, very clever at moving away from the congestion. 34 plays 11. I've got to say I'm increasingly frustrated with Carlton trying to handball one or two metres to their opponents over the top of an opponent. Hill from right on the 50. Yeah. Wonderful kick. No. Tenth possession for Fletcher to centre wing. Franchina has to fly against two. The Bombers had the numbers three to one. Barnard around the corner. Great kick. Beautiful kick. Ramanaskis all on his own. Squares it up beautifully. McGrath, 55 out. Here's Rioli. They're running loose the Bombers. Didn't take the mark. Jason Johnson just crashes through and kicks the goal for the Bombers. Jason Johnson is on fire and the Bombers pull away. His second. In all that's gone on tonight, very stiff. Seven and a half minutes till three-quarter time. Bolton comes back. Ramanaskis has to stretch. On the wing, goes back towards the boundary, forced to night this time. And a casual, Wellman, outside the 50 and under pressure, hooks it back towards the middle, in from the side, the smallest man, McVay. Merrington coming from behind, McKernan in front. This will hurt. The Blues have enjoyed a good five minutes or so. McVay gets the goal. Stolen by Lappin to Murphy. Murphy, a high kick down towards half forward. Oh, great mark. One field over the top of the first gamer. He's been great too, Justin Blumfield tonight. Confidence. 22 possessions 
Freeborn goes back and takes the mark. 51st for the Blues. Murphy. Centres it. Interesting place to put it. Prendergast had to wait. Romanowskis came over the top. McGrath lays a tackle. Arriving like the cavalry was Fletcher. Forced the error. Romanowskis kicks and gets his third goal. Just for the moment, Corey McKernan, wonderful player at his best. A bit like a long jumper who can't reach the sand. Ball comes across towards the middle. This is Wellman. Wheels around inside the centre square. Now he's away. Looks down inside the 50, just setting it up. Mansfield got a fist on it. Bradley stood up in a tackle. Head down, Jason Johnson. Tried to create a path. So too, Lucas going nowhere. But he came again. Arms free. Longfield gets it across to Johnson. And Mark Johnson kicks a goal. Hard work. Ange goes out wide to Beaumont. To Lappin, oh, good recovery. who uh, struggled at training during the week, and he's tried his heart out tonight again. So try to make something happen and try too hard, and he has been dispossessed. Yeah, that's a good call. Look, he's done the Percy Jones, the Jimmy Plunkett, punch me in the gob. Got one in the mush. Hi there, Jimmy. He's got Welsh in space. Kicks to centre half forward. Welsh is the man, and a good mark from behind. And Brendan Tuffin and West Meadows. And he's a strong mark. Good play. Out wide, McVeigh. Round the corner he goes. To the forward pocket and getting back is Barnard. That's great play. Just to make the margin 43. Barnard going at his second. He should kick it too. Goal umpire goes to his left. Barnard's got it though, I think. He has. Fletcher kicks inside the 50, hangs a long time in the air, Whitnell is in front, slapped away by McGrath, taken by Mark Johnson, hacks his way through, throws it on the boot, comes out towards the wing and the mark is taken by Carousel, no, not by Heffernan, grabs the crumb, kicks it deeper, Longfield, McGrath on the burst, kicks the centre half forward now, Rioli, he's marked about 45 metres out. The only meantime, kicks, hasn't got the carry, yes it has. As they run down the clock, and the Bombers will win this game by 25 points, but Carlton at least have won the last quarter. Something for them to take home, but the Bombers have got the four points in front of 55,633 people at the MCG on Friday Night Football. It was a slugging old affair.